Hello folks. Um, right, going to talk about the Gilets Jaunes over in France, these um, riots that you're seeing on mainstream media. I'm going to show you what's really going on in France, what you're not being shown on mainstream media and why. Now this is obviously, you know, more of a red pill video, slight political tinge to it if you like. Any videos that comes up now and just to interrupt myself, I'm going to say what the hell is going on on my channel, but I'm, hopefully I'll find out. Anyway, um, if I do red pill stuff from now on, if I do a political slot from now on, because I really want to get these out, um, I'll emphasise it in the description, okay? So if you don't want to look at that, you don't want to look at politics, you're not interested, you want to see the world go to hell in a handbasket and you don't care, fine, don't watch them. Um, but anyway, watch this video that's coming. I'll make a, a comment at the end. Please watch the whole thing okay it's just a couple of minutes but it's going to show you what you are not being shown and there's a reason why because if you copied it you could bring your country to its knees without throwing a single punch roundabouts you're supposed to drive around them aren't you but today i drove across one right in front of 20 or so French policeman. What happened? Let's find out. smile at me, gave me the thumbs up, and I drove away. That was it.
Okay, so why did I show you that video? Well, the simple thing is, if you're red-pilled, you're very much red-pilled to the control systems around you. Okay? Now, what you are shown on mainstream media this week is the violence in Paris. Some of it instigated by protesters and some of it instigated by the police. It's a fact. Okay? But, whoever's instigating that, you're seeing cars burning, tyres burning, violence. Nobody is showing you what's going on in the rest of France. And as I said, France is huge. It's massive. It is a big country. Okay? It's talked about a sort of, it's like some little part of Europe. Look up. Look at the geography of it. And most of France is rural. Okay? It's a beautiful place. Fantastic people. Okay? They know how to protest and bring a government to its knees. Everybody thinks Mac Macron uh, capitulated this week because of the riots in France. No, that's what they want you to believe. It's because most of France has come to a halt for a week. The Gilets Jaunes have just blocked roads, blocked roundabouts. No violence, no nothing. What you can't see in those cars, right, most of the French people, to show um, a thumbs up to the protesters because either they fear protesting themselves or for whatever reason, okay, their vests in their windscreen so as they drive past just to show solidarity okay look at that can you see the police car okay there's a policeman okay doing his aggressive folded hands thing you know surrounded by all those gilets jaunes do you see any violence do you see that policeman being beaten up and rocks being thrown at him no do you see that policeman reacting because he's been triggered has he got his gun out? Has he got his baton out? Is he gassing anybody? No! But look at what's going on. They have brought the country to its knees in one week. Okay? So my red pill comment is, is this. People think that if you want to change society, you want to change your government, your leaders, whatever it is, there has to be violence. It will be the only way. Sometimes that's a fact, but most times it isn't. 99 times of 100, it isn't. I'm so passionate about this. We don't need to be violent. We just stop the system. And the French know it. They literally block a road, in, especially out in the rural places, they block roundabouts, so you can't get to main shopping areas, that sort of thing. If someone's in desperation, they'll let them through, it's not a problem, okay? But basically, they shut the system down. Could you imagine, let's take the States, okay? Let's say Walmart, okay? <clears throat> let's take Walmart's take-ins were down 90% for six days. Now, they wouldn't tell you, but do you not think that the CEOs and the leaders of Walmart are on the phone to their political representatives saying, get this sorted. Get it sorted and get it sorted now. You want our funding? You want our backing? You acquiesce to these people and give them what they want. OK? Or at least compromise. And that's all this needs. I sound very aggressive in my tone, a little, I suppose... But I'm passionate about this. We can change things. The French know it. But this is the key to my video. Truly, this is the key to my video. And I hope you've watched the whole thing through. Because if you haven't, you're not getting to this point, And then I'll get the ridiculous comments again. Okay, and I'm really not interested in your ridiculous comments. If you're going to say something that isn't positive or towards this or constructive, just shut off, okay? Not interested in you. This is too vital and too important. Okay, here's my main point. The mainstream media news have not shown a single solitary item about this and what you've just seen. There's a reason to it. The main reason, the top reason, and almost the only reason is this. They don't want you seeing and understanding that making change by the mass of the population without 
violence is easy. Thanks for watching.